three aces. Full house. Sorry, Mr. Duvall. Hello. Mon ami, you are now one half owner in the little Bonanza silver mine. Is this worth making a trip all the way to Virginia City for? Monsieur, that mine contains more wealth than you've ever dreamt of. Who's this other owner, you left? Your partner. You'll find Bullet very easy to get along with. Nancy, the safety valve's stuck. Excuse me, gentlemen. Up to 54. Get out of here. Oh. Nancy, what are we doing now? I guess we'll have to get a new boiler. You got $6,000. Oh. I think I know where I can get it, though. Where? Virginia City. as rigged this town as ever seen. You know what this is, Fitch? No, I don't reckon I do. Well, this here's a real dude, Fitch, a genuine dude. Now, is that a fact? And the Indian? Oh, that's his nurse. Take a bag for him, will you, Fitch? Oh, sure. Pretty suit of clothes I ever did see, dude. Be a shame to get it all dirty. <laughs> used to such violence. You mustn't mind the boys joking. This is a raw town, and you have to expect a certain amount of horseplay. And besides, you're pretty spectacular for these parts, Mr. Uh... Derringer. Yancey Derringer. Miss... Julia. Where are you from, Mr. Derringer? New Orleans. And you're here on business? That's right. In Virginia City, we mix business with pleasure. Do you play cards, Mr. Derringer? Well, I've been known to. Have you ever played uh, three-card Monty? What? Three-card Monty. In my hand, I have the ten and jack of hearts and the ace of spades. Now, the object of the game is for you to guess which card is the ace of spades. This one? That's very good, Mr. Derringer. Thank you. I think you've played this game before. No, just watched. Seeing that you're no amateur, shall we make it a little more interesting? Say, a hundred dollars? A hundred dollars? Fine. You 
make me doubt my skill, Mr. Derringer. But you know, I still think the hand is quicker than the eye. Shall we say 500? Shall we say 1,000? 1,000? I can see you're a sport, Mr. Derringer. So am I. I bet my diamond ring against your $1,000. Is that all right? Fine. I'd like to bet again with you sometime, Miss Julia. See who's best at palming an ace. Pick the wrong lady to play your tricks on. All right, play on, play on, Miss. Now, this gentleman has provided us with some prime entertainment. And all Miss Julia got was a bit of her own medicine and an empty ring finger. So let's not spoil things with a vulgar brawl. The drinks are on me. Bless me. Nobody ever got the better of Miss Julia and her little tricks as you have, sir. Taking her diamond ring. <laughs> Could I have a look at it, sir? I love beautiful things. I'll give you your thousand dollars for it. That's very kind of you, sir, but uh, no thank you. It's a pity. Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. My name is Jim Ogden. Uh, Big Jim, they call me. Yancey Derringer. From New Orleans. Ah, the Crescent City. You have a mining interest? A half interest in the little bonanza. What happened to Henry Duvall? He lost. I see. And what are you planning to do, Mr. Derringer? Well, I thought I'd work the mine to see if it has any value. Right now, I'm looking for my partner, Mr. Bulette. You know him? <laughs> Indeed, I do. Where will I find him? At the top of the stairs. Excuse me, Mr. Ogden. Come in. You have a gall coming up here. Get out. I'm sorry. I'm looking for my partner, Mr. Bulette. Partner in what? The little bonanza. Mr. Ogden said I'd find him up here. You won it? Poker. Mr. Derringer, you have been swindled. Again? How do you know? I am Mr. Bulette. And last year, the little bonanza paid off exactly $17.40 before expenses. You know, digging silver's a funny thing. You could be 10 feet away from a million dollars and starve to death. Not you, ma'am. Oh, yes, me, ma'am. I suppose you've heard all those tall stories about me. I've heard you're called rich, celebrated, and uh, queen of Virginia City. Not celebrated, notorious. Not rich, needy. This place is mortgaged to the hilt. Then we do have something in common. The first days of the Comstock were, they were wide open and wonderful. So forgive me if I deal from the bottom to keep up appearances. Well, now, you do do that. Mr. Derringer, you'd better go back where you came from. What's the rush? There are things to do. Like what? Well, I should go out and take a look at the mine, make sure that there isn't something there for you, for me. Partner, you're a fool, and I'm beginning to like you. I like your style, I like your looks, and I like your lostness. I might even grow to like your Indian. Can I call you Yancey? Please do. Tell you what. If the little bonanza pays off, I'll level with you. I promise never to deal from the bottom again. Let's not take the oath too soon. We're all weak vessels. I mean it, Yancey. I wonder. Here. Here's my good luck charm. What would you suggest to seal the box? Hmm, that wasn't your first kiss. No. It was the first time I ever gave anyone my good luck charm. 
toast to our new partnership. Bulek and Derringer. Ah, Derringer and Bulek. Uh, let's keep it out. Let it go. Thank you. Now, in exchange for this character transformation, would you uh, honor me by accepting a little trinket that I won from a tenderfoot? Oh, Yancey, you sidewinder. <laughs> Things. He who hesitates dies a bachelor. You never will. Good luck, Yancey. I've already had that. Thank you, Mr. Ogden. Oh, Mr. Derringer. Since we're going to be neighbors... We are? Yes, my mind is directly next to yours and Julia Bulet's. If there's anything that I can ever do for I'll you... I'll call him. Well, that's exactly right. Thank you, sir. Stop eating your heart out, little man. We've got work to do. Doesn't look like much, Pahu. Let's take a good look anyway.
Oh, never in history has any man ever won so little on such a big poker hand. Closed up an old mine shaft that's been a menace to public safety for far too long. I don't know, but somebody made sure we don't get out that way. We may use this later. Oh, we came looking for silver. Let's keep looking. off our shaft, tunneled in from his own claim. Wait till Julius sees this. Fresh air. This is the way Ogden gets in. This is the way we get out. Town sure is quiet. Name Derringer? That's right. Who are you? Sheriff Anderson. You saved us the trouble of going after you. What for? For the murder of Julia Bulette. When did it happen? Oh, uh, don't play dumb. She was found strangled this morning, and her last known visitor was you. I'm arresting you for the murder, Derringer. Yours? You know it is. You bet it is.
You recognize these? Yeah. Yeah. Julia. <laughs> Julia Bulettes. You plant them there, Ogden? Now, uh, really, Mr. Derringer, I took the precaution of having Judge Harper with me when I searched your room, Mr. Derringer. He and Mr. Greer helped me search the baggage. I'll ask you once more. Did you do it? Nice try, Mr. Derringer. Really nice try. Julia Bullett's mine is worth a fortune. Yeah. And Ogden oh, has been oh, looting yeah. it from his own claim. He had to murder. He tried to murder me because he knew I'd find out and expose him. Shut your lying mouth! I'm putting him in jail for a fair trial. Oh, that's no good. Let's hang him now! Yeah, yeah, let's hang him now. You'll leave the prisoner to me. Come on. Let justice be done. Let's hang them. Lynch them. Let's show them they can't kill people here in Virginia. Hold it! Now, what is it, Mr. Derringer? Did you get that ring, Ogden? Why, it's mine, of course. How long are we going to put up with this starving? Let's hang him! I won this ring from Julia Bullet yesterday. A lot of you were here. And I gave it back to her yesterday, and she was wearing it when I left her. Well, Mr. Ogden? Well, I'm afraid you'll have to forgive an old man's vanity. I, I took this ring yesterday when we searched Mr. Derringer's room. That's not true. You had it on before then. You took this ring off of a dead woman's body. No, no, it was Greer. <laughs> Judge, thank you for the advance of the 6000 Not at all. You can have more if you want, Yancy. Well, not this trip. That should buy about the shiniest new boiler on the Mississippi. <laughs> well, I'll keep things going at the mine. Certainly in your debt, sir. Not a bit of it. I figured that a partner should take an interest in his interest. Good luck. And you. A hat. Ed Farina. Right on 